My name is Matthew Campbell. I'm a senior lecturer in exercise nutrition here at Leeds Beckett University. And my research interest lies predominantly in type 1 diabetes and exercise. Unlike most people who are able to exercise without much prior thought, for people with type 1 diabetes, things are a little bit more difficult. In particular, exercise poses quite a significant challenge uh, to people with type 1 diabetes, specifically around trying to control their blood sugar levels. If you ask most patients what they think about the level of information that they receive around exercise, actually a lot of people will tell you that they don't feel very well informed, specifically around insulin dose and carbohydrate feeding around exercise. So a lot of our research here at the university has been to prepare um, effective strategies to enable uh, people with type 1 diabetes to adjust their insulin and carbohydrate feeding around exercise. We've looked at manipulating the dose of insulin and the type of carbohydrate both before and after exercise and actually we have found for the first time that you can uh, very well control uh, blood glucose levels around exercise by just making very simple adjustments. So the main thing about the event is that it's been designed in, uh, with the patient in mind. So we know that there's not enough information available to people with type 1, specifically around exercise. So what we want to do is to try and present some of that information to them and provide a really open, friendly environment so that we can have an open discussion with people who have type 1 so that they can take away really individualised, personalised strategies to help them effectively manage their diabetes around exercise. So this event will be of great benefit to those not only living with type 1 diabetes, but also those supporting individuals with type 1 diabetes as well. Specifically, we hope that individuals who attend the evening will be able to leave with really robust, uh, pragmatic strategies for better managing blood sugar levels after exercise. On the evening, we're going to have a panel which consists of um, active researchers, both from the university, um, as well as healthcare professionals, and also uh, patient representatives to give a really good uh, balanced spread of opinions. Um, so inside from some of the latest research being conducted here at the university, some of the practicalities with working with patients within a clinical setting, and then also listen to the opinions of patients who have to live with a condition on a day-to-day -day basis.